Hi guys, it's Christina and today I'm just going to quickly talk about um, some pet peeves I have about having cerebral palsy. Um, I did kind of touch on one of them last week when I was at the grocery store. So if you want to watch that one, you can go here. I'll let you watch that first. I don't want to repeat myself. Okay, and an additional pet peeve I do have is putting on makeup. Um, I have a lot of friends who don't have a disability who complain about putting on winged eyeliner and things like that, and that is definitely hard regardless of if you have a disability or not. I know that it's hard to even make them look the same on both sides. Um, I mean, but when you have hands that move by themselves and hands that don't work properly, um, you do make the best of this situation, but you also have to somehow adapt to put on makeup and mascara without poking your eye out. It's very hard. And there is this thing on Facebook going around on my friends' um, profiles that say, um, if a girl walks in with winged eyeliner, don't ask why she's late. And that's very true. And for me, it's if I walk in with makeup on in general, don't ask me why I'm late. Um, it definitely takes me a long time to do my hair, do my makeup, which is why my hair looks like this. I showered and I kind of just put in some product and I didn't really do much. Um, I did put makeup though for you, so always look on the bright side. It's just very difficult and frustrating. Another pet peeve is when you're at a family reunion and you want to do things with your family and they want to do things with you and they decide to go on a bike ride or a six mile hike or things that my body just does not allow me to do. I can't ride a, a bike. I'm sure I can ride a tricycle, um, but I don't have one. And a lot of times we're at places where we can't rent one. And this is not a bad thing about my family. It's just to point out the difficulties of just having a CP when when your friends or your family want to go on bike rides. It's and you can't. There have just been many a time where I've just chosen to sit, stay home or stay at the cabin or wherever we were staying. Um, and that's fine. I mean, I've gotten used to it. Um, it's just difficult. And another pet peeve I do have is it's, it's when your friends or you're, or you're out with your friends or you are um, at a friend's house and they say, hey, we can go get some food or let's go do something. And it's only six blocks from here. It's only, you know, ten blocks from here. We can just walk. It's not that far. Um, it's, it's definitely hard when you get called lazy or you get told that you're just using your disability as a crutch or an excuse to not do something. It's very it's very frustrating. I've definitely been called lazy. I've been told that I use my disability as an excuse to not do things and I don't think that that's right or true. I love being outside. If I could go on six mile hikes, ten mile hikes, I would so do it. I would go hiking and then go camping and then go water skiing and then go bike riding. I would do all that stuff, but when you have CP, especially when you're um, more functioning, so you can actually walk and do stuff, um, you <laughs> get tired five times faster than most people. After about four or five hours on my feet at work, I'm tired. I can do a full day, I can do a full eight hours, um, and I won't complain about it, but I come home and after standing for that long and running around, I'm tired. And it's not a lazy thing. It's not because I have more weight on me and I'm just fat and lazy. It's because my disability is constantly using the mu muscles harder just to have me stand properly or make me walk properly or just make me able to shake someone's hand. 
and your your muscles are just, and your mind is just so concentrated on doing that properly that when you get home you're exhausted. So when you get home and you decide to hang out with your friends and they're like, hey, let's walk over here. It's only you know, a ten minute walk. It's not that far. Or they just say it's not that far when it kind of is, but for them it's not. Um, it's just really frustrating because I've been told so many times that I'm lazy or I don't do things because I use my disability as that as an excuse and that's just frustrating um, because 99.99% of the time I don't. I'm not lazy, I'm exhausted, I'm constantly in pain and I don't ever really talk about it because if I t mentioned every time I was in pain it would be constant and you would get really, really annoyed with me. And so we would not be friends because I would just constantly talk about how much pain I was in. And that's just, it's not my per personality. I don't like to complain. I always like to look on the bright side of things. And I always like to do things even when people tell me I can't. So, <laughs> those are my pet peeves. And, oh, and I started a garden, which is super exciting. Um, my sister helped me out. Um, I'll show you what that looks like right here. Yeah, I have basil and some tomatoes and uh, California poppies, so some part of home and some flowers that vine and it's super exciting. I have a fence up to um, have my cat come out on the balcony with me and it's not that cute so I figured um, I could have flowers that vine up the fencing to kind of cover that up. So the more that they grow, uh, the more I will share with you. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Um, talk to your friends, leave comments below, and I hope you have a great day, and live with kindness, and lead with love.